what's up guys? So I'm back to talk about the first five chapters of The Tyrant's Tomb, which is the fourth book in the Trials of Apollo series by Rick Riordan. And I have the book right here. And, uh, shoot, it's just the, uh, it's just the, the covering. I'm get, I think I'm gonna have to fix that, hang on. Whoa, that was pretty cool. So yeah, I got the book right here and we're just going to talk about the first five chapters. So this book is, it's pretty long. It's a 400, about 420 chapters, 420 pages. I'm really smart, that's why I said chapters to begin with. So yeah, it's about 420 chapters. Why do I keep saying chapters? Gosh dang. It's about 420 pages. And I've read about, well, the first five chapters. The first five chapters are about 45 pages. So you know what? I'm about, I'm about a tenth of the way through. I'm a little over a tenth of the way through. But, you know, it was really good. I, I liked the first five chapters. I uh, said that down real quick. I enjoyed reading them, you know? I always enjoy reading Rick Ryden books that are in the mythological world like this one is. And this one was no different. It was fun to read the first five chapters. I'm actually surprised that I got through that many because like I said yesterday in my video about unboxing and reviewing this, I have had a lot of homework to do and stuff for college. And so I'm actually surprised I got to read five chapters already. And I don't know, I don't know how quick I'm gonna be able to read the rest, but hopefully, hopefully it's really quick, you know? Hopefully it's really quick. But the first five chapters, guys, yeah, it's good. If you don't have this book already, the first five chapters are are really good, and you should definitely get the book. Where I do have a problem with it though, is that it's kind of cliche of Rick Riordan books. <laughs> Especially in the first Trials of Apollo book, Apollo and Meg McCaffrey are going to Camp Half-Blood to, you know, just go there and get refuge from monsters. And it takes them a while to get there. They have like, they have obstacles that they go through to get there. And I don't remember exactly how it goes, but I know they, def they definitely have obstacles to go through. And it's the same with this book. They have obstacles. Oh, it, sorry, yeah. In the first Trials of Apollo book, Percy Jackson helps them to get to camp. And in this book, they are also helped by other people. I won't say who, because I don't want to, I don't really want to spoil it, but they're helped by people. And it's just really cliche that you know when something bad's happening other people come to help that always happens that always seems to happen in Rick Riordan books and it's it's kind of getting tiring but at the same time I don't really see another option besides them just getting to camp by themselves so this time as you probably all know they're going to Camp Jupiter in case that wasn't clear I mean that's been in a summary you could have read a summary that they were going to Camp Jupiter anytime uh, before the book came out. So that's that's not a spoiler. Not a spoiler! Not a spoiler. Not a spoiler. So, other than that, it was good. There's some characters in this book, obviously, that I think you know will be in it. Uh, that I knew was gonna- that I knew were gonna be in it beforehand, but it's still really awesome to see them because they're returning characters from the Heroes of Olympus series, which I loved, and they're in this series and Rick Riordan is, is writing them into each of the Trials of Apollo books at different times, which I think is really awesome. I hope somehow in the last book he can incorporate all of the characters. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but it would be, it would be really cool. So yeah, the first five chapters are definitely good. I'm definitely enticed. I want to keep reading. I don't know how much reading I'm gonna get done quickly, but you know, we'll see. We'll see how much reading I'll get done in the near future. Until then, this book, I think I'm gonna have to send it back to where it came from, so let's do this real quick. All right, there we go. It is gone. We're gonna send it back, and you know what? Might as well get this cover gone too. Three, two, one, and there we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and yeah, there's somebody mowing outside right now, outside my house, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time. I don't know how quick it's gonna be, when I get a, a video reviewing the whole book, but you know, we'll see. And definitely stay tuned for that video. If you did not check out my video about the unboxing and review of this book, you know, the first impression of this book, if you did not see my first video 
of the unboxing and review of the first book in the Trials of Apollo series. If you did not see my video that came out yesterday about my original review and unboxing of this fourth book in the Trials of Apollo series, The Tyrant's Tomb, definitely go check that out. I'll link it in the description for you to go check out. And yeah, other than that, we'll see you next time. Why do I keep saying chapters? Gosh dang. Why do I keep saying chapters? Gosh dang. Chapters, chapters, chapters.